cenote escondido or hidden cenote. So you can see rays of light shooting down into the water. Lots of fish, lots of big rocks down below. So that was Cenote Cristal. Beautiful, as you can see, a nice open cenote. Really pretty, especially on a sunny day when the water's coming through. You can see some cool things underwater. Not a ton of wildlife and the jumping platform was a ton of fun. The best part is that was one for two deal. We paid about $15 to go to Cenote Cristal and Cenote Escondido, which is right across the street. So we're gonna take our bikes and continue the fun day exploring and swimming in the beautiful cenotes in Mexico. Let's go. Now this is how I like to bike. Nice and quiet, a clear and obvious path, the sun beaming through the jungleless plants. So we have arrived at cenote number two of the day, cenote escondido or hidden cenote. And I can see why it's hidden. We biked a little bit far on the little path and we made it to what looks like almost a little bit of a, like a stream or like a lazy river that you experience at like a water park. Looks really pretty. We're just checking it out and we'll have some fun for sure here. We then went underwater to discover a whole nother world. So this is how I style my hair every morning. <laughs> Got a nice coconut head. We just snorkeled from one end to the other. Lots of fish, lots of big rocks down below and fish you can see swimming around. And now it's nice and clear, the light's coming in. So you can see rays of light shooting down into the water. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. And we're still at the ledges to jump in and have a good time and play around besides just exploring the beauty of it. So we're loving it here, guys. This is a great cenote experience. Speaking of cenote experiences, no cenote experience, in my opinion, is complete without a little bit of cliff jumping. We then continue to explore the gorgeous underwater of Cenote Escondido, and I found a secret little passageway. Sadly, we eventually had to leave the gorgeous blue waters of Cenote Escondido. Luckily, we had Burrito Amor to look forward to, which is a restaurant located in Tulum Centro. They're famous for, of course, their burritos, which are wrapped in banana leaves, so picturesque and honestly the best burrito I've ever had. The chilaquiles are fairly good, but their cocktails like margarita and coconut cool are delicious. Have to try them. All right, Vanessa, are you ready for your third burrito from this place? Get enough of them. 